Hello, and uh, welcome back to Final Fantasy 13 Lightning Returns. I just flipped that. Oh, well. It's fine. Lightning Returns, Final Fantasy 13. It's kind of a, a mouthful there. We're currently still on day one. We're, we're almost done, though. We have five hours till returning to the Ark, and I'd like to get done what I can. Uh, I, I did somewhat kind of plan out what I was going to do a little bit, but there's not much you can do in the time we have left. But I am going to chronostasis right now. We have 5 EP. And right now, it's basically do as much as we possibly can get done before we're s before the 6 o'clock mark. So, uh, I know there you are. I, I am going to be using a guide to figure out what quests are around. Did you lose something? What was it? I lost my carbuncle doll. It was the prettiest green color. It was an antique. It was my favorite doll in the entire world. Shut up. It has to be somewhere. If you search hard enough, you'll be able to find it. I know where it is. The chaos took it away from me. Anything the chaos touches just disappears and you never see it again. Just because you can't see something, it doesn't mean it's gone. In fact, there might be a way to get it back. Really? I don't believe you. All right, then I'll find it for you and prove it. You're looking for a green carbuncle doll, is that right? In this dying world, okay. all the children have lived for centuries without growing old. Being alive for so long has stripped them of many things, including their naivete and hope. Well, uh, we'll we'll definitely get that. I'm pretty sure it was over here. Uh, I'm not really looking at a guide too well, but uh, I want I want to have a general idea. And for this one, there is a carbuncle doll somewhere near here. I don't I don't know where. Oh, he has a quest too. Uh, it's some it's somewhere in Old Town. Oh, great! I'm gonna waste all my uh, precious time here. We can't... Oh, there it is. Green carbuncle doll. I just wrote down that it was an old town. That's all I know, so... What do you got? Okay. That's it. What about again? Seems like uh, we'll have to come back to that. Oh! I hit R1. Oh, did we find out what your... You're weak to magic and fire. Oh, okay. Time can't be I guess I should just stick to magic then with this. So Mist Wizard's probably pretty good against it. I, I need access to fire though. Wow, it... We are very weak right now. The Niblet's giving us trouble. I'm scared to like try main story because if you know, if a boss is too tough, you have to you have to come back. Merchant. It's not the safest place in the world, but you can get almost anything here, and the price is always right. Sure. Uh, well, we're gonna go back and do that. I'm trying to decide what to do next. Because I wanted to go explore another place while we have the chance. But what? Oh. oh. As for the things I wrote down, it was how the, the general time that you can start the main story for certain areas. I think Wild Lions might be safe to start now. Uh, I did not even look into Dead Dunes. I don't know. It's been, it's been a while, so it's like... I, I almost just kind of want to do it blind and, and, and see how... Or not blind. That's that's impossible. Do it... Mostly unassisted. And, and and just see if we can, like, plan this out ourselves instead of using a guide and following their plan. It, it's just... 
it's rough to figure that out. Look here you what go. I found. Here you go. Make sure you don't lose it again, okay? <gasps> My doll! You really found it! Oh, thank you, thank you! Mm -hmm. My mom gave this to me. She's gone now. She got swallowed up by the chaos. It was 200 years ago. Maybe longer. If this doll was safe and sound inside the chaos, that means my mom is okay too, right? It means she's watching over me from far away, right? Yeah. Maybe. Carbuncle figurine. People pray for the dead. They pray that even though their bodies are gone, their souls still exist. They pray. I hope you oh. can make everyone. Okay, okay. I didn't know when new quests would show up. I feel like it's based on day. Pray she'll reunite with her mother. The same way I pray that Sarah and I will be together again someday. Now I could go to the Warren right now, or we could just take this. this. I want to know. North. The trains here shuttle back and forth between Luxarian and Usnan, the city that never sleeps. There is another station in Luxarian, South Station. The trains there will take you to either of these two locations. The Wildlands, where you can enjoy fresh air, nature, and friendly faces. Or the Dead Dunes, a desert abundant with hidden treasures. Mm. Here for the train? So I have to go all the way. So, oh, arrival 145. So it would pass time just to take this train. <sighs> you know what sucks is you can't see quests on the map. So you have no idea like when a quest is available or anything. But uh, part of me wants to go to Yusnan because we're going to be spending a lot of time here in in this episode uh, when we come back after the arc. But I also plan to go to Yusnan again after that. You know what? Let's let's go. The hundred gil though. It's I don't know. <laughs> it's so. I feel so in indecisive here. I can't imagine if this game only like like didn't have a timer. Uh, it it would, well, I guess, I guess it would be too easy. It would just be an exploration game, which, like kind of kind of MMO ish. Uh, but it, it, this timer really puts I the pressure on. I'll make you happy. Those were my own words. And I think I was fooling. I couldn't do a damn thing. You died centuries ago, and it still feels like yesterday. Not a day goes by when I don't think of you, and how I could save you. Mm. But I failed you. Like a fool, I'm just spinning my wheels while the world dies. Now everything's ending, and no one's gonna survive. You snan. Oh, we got different text for this one. It's more like frozen ice like. The other one was very gothic looking. Sarah, I need to know. When I die, will I get to see you again? Not that I have any right to. Well, I guess we all come to this world alone, and that's the way we gotta leave it. What are you waiting for, Lightning? You don't have much time left before the world ends. This is your last chance for payback to the man who couldn't keep your sister safe. Oh, you are very gloomy right now. Payback? The glittering city. This is how Snow entertains himself these days. I don't know how entertaining he finds it, but it's certainly his doing. Use not his Snow's town now. The residents call him the patron, and he runs everything here, especially the feasts and banquets. I've heard that he wanted everyone to enjoy whatever brief time they had left. But these days he's holed up in his palace. Who knows what he's thinking? If I could, I'd go and visit, but I don't think I'm welcome there. Guess I should have pulled my punches. <laughs> no, it 
it was the right thing to do at the time. I really thought if you confronted him head on, he'd open up to you. Of course, it's been centuries. People are bound to change. Have the years changed him? Maybe. The snow I remember was an optimist, almost laughably so. He believed in everyone, and so everyone believed in him. That's why in the end, I could accept Sarah wanting to marry him. But while I slept away the years in Crystal, he had to live every day, facing the world's coming end. Centuries, watching all hope crumble, lifetimes passing without a hint of escape. No man can stare into the darkness for so long and survive with his soul intact. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, what did they say, five centuries? He, he's been just stuck, basically in limbo in here. Uh, that, that would, that would, that would wear on you bad. Like the palace is completely locked down, but I think I found a way you can sneak in. The auger's quarters are best bet. Supplies for the grand feast are delivered each and every day, anywhere from early afternoon to late at night. There should be plenty of things for you to hide amongst and make your way inside. Alright. So we're gonna figure out how oh, teleport unlocked. Nice. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna figure out how to get in, hopefully, tonight. We won't be able to get in, but we'll figure out how. Uh and, and maybe pick up side quests on the way. Teleport lets lightning instantly move instantly from one area to the other. Uh cost EP lets you save time. It costs a lot of EP, if I remember right. You can teleport to specific places that lightning has been before, like the monorail stations or the settlements in the Wildlands and the Dunes. Okay, whenever you go somewhere, it's automatically registered. When you return to the Ark, you can use the warp device to teleport back to your previous location or other ones that have opened up without using EP. So by coming to Ustan, we can start in Ustan if we wanted. And you can add your own markers. That might be a good idea for planning out episodes, honestly. If I just look up a map of where side quests start. <laughs> Alright, okay, okay. Perform quests. Places you would like to revisit later. Yeah, okay. New warp destination. Okay, first things first. Search the actual station. Uh, there's I nothing. I still want to see that show. Maybe I should try the back road after all. Makoto? Uh, I'm definitely going to have to chronostasis here. Oh, three TP to teleport? Or e AP? EP. Holy hell. Uh, that's a lot. I don't... I... Unless we have enemies nearby where we teleport that can give us a bunch of EP back, it's not worth close. it. Just looking at it would make me feel richer myself. It's the most extravagant building in the world. The palace is in the Augur's Quarter, right? I don't think tourists are allowed. I've heard that there are some parts of Yusnan that only the rich can get into. Not people like us, unfortunately. It's a palace. They ought to at least let us go look at it for free, right? It'll be all right. Come on, let's go. All right, let's go to the augur's quarter. Sounds like they got some security the down there. Quarter is the exclusive playground of the rich. Commoners are. That includes you. Still spreading cheer through the world. Secret machine. I'm a practitioner of the al alchemic arts, and I am in need of a certain component. I trust that you can help me. Bring me ether coils, as many as you can, of the type in the Desdemona machine, which is apparently found around here. I do not require them for evil purposes. Of that, you have my word. <laughs> okay. You got it, sir. Or ma'am. Okay. Though people say it's possible to sneak in, apparently there's some sort of back door. I definitely think it's worth looking into. Let's go up here first. Ah, uh, that chest it has rings around it. I believe you have to spend EP to pick it up. Welcome. Oh, oh, this is for food and stuff. So food doesn't pass time though. Okay, I gotta jump. Um, 
Wow, it's it's weird when you oh, Welcome. another cafe. Please come again. It's weird when you spend EP to use chronostasis just to look around. You want to get into the augers quarter? <laughs> you can beg and plead to God, but you won't have a chance in hell. God's power doesn't mean much in this town. Money's the only thing we bow to. If you got money, you'll find us a whole lot friendlier. Okay, I thought maybe he had a better idea. <laughs> Take my friend, for example. What friend? Well, thanks. Welcome to the only shop you'll ever need. What do you have? Velvet Bouncer. Ooh. Fancy. Blitz level 2. Okay. It's kind of expensive. I don't want to waste all my money right now because I can come back and get all these and I'm definitely not going to be able to use that. Thanks for dropping in. What about you? Can you say the magic word? Uh, please? <laughs> nope. I'm afraid that's not what I'm looking for. Check out our posters around town, then come back and try again. Okay. Uh, let's look at the map, actually. Uh, of course. This place is huge. And these are the tiny places when you compare it to Wildlands and Dead Dunes. Oh. Uh, um. Okay. Well, we know where we're headed. Hotel staff. I hear an enemy. Where are you? Wait. He's back here. Damn. You wanna play? It's free EP, so. Schrodinger. You have any Okay. I'm assuming we have to break this thing. Because it's taking, like, zero damage. Oh, that timing is so weird. Oh, look at him without a shell. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. Oh, I didn't even bring that. He did my whole health bar. Damn. Are you telling me I have to escape? Well, that's a waste of time. I didn't think that thing would be so strong. Ice Sparka. Uh-uh. Yeah, I know. It, it, it did cost me an hour, and I totally regret fighting that thing. It was at half health. I thought I had stood a chance. I can't even go there. I feel like... Oh, oh, okay. Flanader notes. Oh. It's like a free Libra. Can I not talk to you? I'm going to have to do this again. Normally, like, I would probably reload if I escaped like that, but... It's fine. It's fine. There's not much we can actually do right now. We have to w let the day roll over, so... Uh... Oh god, now I'm scared to fight anything. Hey! You there! You mean me? I know your face. You're the one I've seen on the posters. Oh no, you've seen through my elaborate disguise. <laughs> yes, I'm the savior. Here to steal the soul from your precious patron. What are you waiting for? Arrest me and you'll probably get a raise. Shut up! I don't need you to tell me how to do my job, you damn criminal! Oh, well, that's happening. I'll release your soul. Uh, yeah. I saw you there. Oh, we have, we have notes on this. It's weak to fire. That sucks. It's resistant to thunder, so don't waste time. Okay. Just use Blizzard and attack. They're using potions on each other? What? Oh my god, I didn't think that thing was the healer. What is this? Oh, 
<laughs> and then that thing's using rescue? Okay. Oh, one more hit. Bravery potion. Well, now you're about to be broken, I hope. Is he in confused status? Jesus. I'm excited, but 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 this is this is gonna be tough. Point three EP. Oh, not bad. And I got an area sweep. Uh, I want to put that on right away. To Dark Muse. Area sweep. Deal physical damage to target and nearby foes, and may launch them in the air. Extend stagger time. And it costs five. That's not bad. Well, there are quite a lot of guards. If you let them chase you around, you might get cornered. Take hmm. the offensive and try to throw them into confusion. <laughs> Patron's personal guard notes? I, I needed that. Oh, oh, wait. For that, f for that fight I just did. <laughs> okay, so let's... Uh, this leads down to the auger cores. Let's do a circle. And then see if we can head back that way. Because once we've fully explored this, then I can skip to these parts uh, the next time we come here. They say it's skip hard around a little more. But you know what's even harder? Getting out alive again. You managed to mm. learn about the back route into the auger's quarter. Is that enough or do you want Yay, I got fireworks from that back chocobo route. lady? Chocobo ladies give you fireworks. Say the magic word to the Choco girls and they'll give you fireworks. Meow meow Choco Chow. The girls can be found from 5 to 3 a.m. Well. That sucks. But now we we know the codes, so I can just go talk to them. Oh man. Two planeters? This is gonna suck. Wait, you're resistant to thunder. What am I doing? Blizzard is fine? Oh, come on. Stun him. Can I launch him? God, the fact that they just keep healing each other. How am I supposed to kill him like this? It's like I'm going to have to stagger everything just to kill them. I don't know. This is ridiculous. Alright, kill it before they can attack. They're healed. There we go. Wow. If I run into any more of these battles, I will I will skip them. Ah, oh, I should be guarding. Starting to get the, the the timing. It's a little after you've already cast it. That was enough. That stupid guard. All right, what do we got? Unleash physical and magical attacks. Okay. I really like the music, though. Delirious healing? Did you just heal lightning? Interesting. 
it is confused and he it causes him to heal us when you stagger him wow uh okay we get a free chronostasis out of that oh well half of one all right now i can actually look around see something uh 170 uh, there's no compare button i suppose i have three schemata so that doesn't really help but i do no, no, we we, we, we we can't afford it. Oh, my God. The Outfitters. Actually, we can sell bronze medals, apparently. The one thing in the game I think I'm allowed to sell are medals. Oh, oh, crystal medal. Yeah, it'll fetch a good price. Everything else in the game, I probably want to hold on to. Quiet Guardian. Heavy Guard level 2. That might be a good idea. Hmm. I'm getting it. Come back soon. Uh, I'd like to make three different kinds of classes in this, but uh, so far we're pretty limited. Yeah? I'm one of the guides. What is it? You don't know where you are? I can help. The, okay. This is the champion's quarter, where the reckless and foolish come to fight fierce monsters for sport and for prizes. We'll, be, we'll definitely be spending some time here. Oh. Locked. It's a music sphere and it's locked. Interesting. Good, I'm just gonna use another one. These days, there's only one way common folk can see the show in the Augur's Quarter, and that's the secret back route. I just got fireworks from a chocobo girl. That's it. This city is the best. We need fireworks, I think, for a quest. The champion's quarter, where blood flows and the crowds roar. Here, man and monster bed. What do you think you're playing at, selling that poison? Make me stronger? <laughs> it almost killed me. Bryce? I did warn you that the use of my concoctions is not without risk. In short, you were warned. Not without risk? You're a crook and a charlatan, you hear me? Huh? I'm done with this place. Okay. A pit of violence and aggression. Ooh. Did you really sell poison to that man? Of course not. It was a fortifying brew with centuries of alchemic theory behind it. I assure you it should be highly efficacious for most users. Sadly, it appeared to disagree with that gentleman's liver, or perhaps spleen. You're an alchemist, right? Don't you people claim to be able to turn lead into gold or something? I don't think I'd buy it. <sighs> that is an unfortunate stereotype, all too common. Alchemists are natural philosophers dedicated to unlocking the mysteries of our physical and spiritual worlds. The search for ultimate truth is the core of our ancient art. The transmutation of base metals into gold, that is a mere byproduct of our inquiries. Hmm. Mysteries of the physical and spiritual worlds? The ultimate truth? Sounds ambitious. It is. We perform experiments, observe phenomena, and analyze ancient records. Then we carefully record the results for future generations. It is painstaking work. Unfortunately, it is also capital intensive. The experiments I perform are very expensive. Right. That explains the snake oil racket you have going on here. This location certainly has proven beneficial to my research. Bounty hunters congregate in the area, and as you no doubt know, theirs is a dangerous profession. They are desperate for anything that might give them an edge, and that includes untested potions. Oh. Untested? Does that mean you're using those poor dupes as test subjects for your latest concoctions? Mm. They all sign the waivers. Perhaps you'd care to join my project. Oh, you'd make a fine test subject. I have made a new secret potion that needs testing, but all of my regulars have refused to volunteer. You see, I've tried mixing two kinds of highly potent poisons. My theory is two wrongs will make a uh, right, and the uh, blend will have a beneficial effect. Okay. Oh dear, you are carrying a lot of things, aren't you? Oh. Maybe you should discard some of them. I suppose I could do that because I want I want to have this quest ready. Oh, you have a you have a shop too. 
Uh, which means I could probably sell one of these potions to make room for whatever she's giving me. I'm confident that my new potion is mostly safe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, in the champion's quarters, uh, the, next to the battle arena, Lightning meets a potion-peddling alchemist named called Velno. Makes interesting propositions. Velno has made a fortifying tincture by mixing two deadly poisons, and she wants Lightning to test it out. Sounds dangerous, but the potion might be uh, prove useful in battle. Hint, you must free up a slot. I had to... You can't even see the screen until you free up a slot. What do you mean, hint? That's funny. All right, I'm game. What are you expected to do exactly? It will lift your spirits, invigorate your soul, and protect you from hexes and ailments. If you are the kind of person who participates in slaughterhouse tournaments, then this potion will be perfect. Hmm. Nectar. So I'm supposed to drink it during a battle. Yes, that would be the perfect time. And afterwards, don't forget to come back and tell me how wonderful it is. Please note that my potions are provided without warranty. Side effects may include dementia, gangrene, sudden death, and hair loss. Good luck. Oh, great. Ah, uh, that hair loss sounded way more terrifying than sudden death for some reason. I'm looking for willing participants testing it. During battle, drink the nectar when plagued with one or more ailments. Oh! Okay, so whenever I, I notice that, I'll have to do that. I am not liable for any side effects. Thank you. We'll just come back to her after whenever we possibly do the lists that. Are closed. The sand's already soaked with blood. Come back tomorrow. Sure. You can only participate in the arena at the certain times. The opens its doors to spectators and contestants during the night's banquets. If you wish to join the list, come when we're open. Sure. Okay, and I suppose the... I hear it. I hear it. Oh. The Chocobo ladies are gone. Oh, it's a spell. Uh, I'll, I'll just put it on this for now. And it may seem like we're doing a lot of random stuff right now, but we have to, like, establish the world. That way we don't have to do it later, you know. Uh, I, li I like to grab as much as we can within this time before moving on. All right. Once we've made it all the way around here, how far along are we? I'm gonna explore the left side of this area, and then we can't even we can't even do anything up here right now. Then we'll head down to the side of the street. The music. Oh, I need to stop doing that. It sucks because if if you stop sprinting, or if you run out of stamina when you sprint, you you get you, you can't swing your weapon. Welcome, a customer. This is so exciting. What can I get you? Well, what do you serve? Anything you want. How about the chef special made from top quality recycled materials? Deep fried mm. niblet hair balls. Um, are you sure that's actually edible? Oh, yes, it definitely won't kill you, I can guarantee it. And since you're my first customer in days, no charge. That's quite the motto. It definitely won't kill you. <laughs> Nothing ventured. That's the spirit. Take the plunge, I say. Well, does it make your taste buds sing? Are you transported to culinary heaven? This is... Too tart? Too much salt, perhaps? I can brush it off if you like. <laughs> no, it's actually really good. God, that is a relief. Uh, hmm. I mean, of course it's good. I knew you'd love it. I've been working on the recipe for weeks. Unfortunately, it's not very nutritious. People are more health conscious these days, which is ironic considering the times. Nutritious or not, you'd think that more people would come back for this. I think it must be me. I just don't have a head for business. No matter how hard I work, I just can't seem to attract more customers. I've been living on the brink of financial ruin for years now. My son got sick of it, so he left. You've got the chops to be a good cook, though. Why don't you try to find yourself a partner? You know, someone you trust who has a better head for business. 
Hmm. Now that you mention it, I hear there's a famous food expert here in Yusnan. Apparently, he specializes in turning around lost causes like mine. I'll bet... No, I know he could help me, but how do I find him? All I know is his name. And what is it? That's Gordon a good... Gourmet. Despite his fame, he's hard to track down. If you do happen to run into him, could you tell him about CDs? Of course. Uh, he, even his own son came up on the business. He, he told us all this information. Go find Gordon Gourmet. Gordon Gourmet. I'll remember it. You are far too kind. Thank you so much. I hope you find him soon. Me too. Uh, we didn't really have anything to go on with that. Come enjoy the healthy food. Okay. Oh, there's the timer. I think these are just a bunch of shops. This is the Glutton's Quarter, a paradise for gourmands that serve up dishes from every culture. If the world's ending anyway, I suppose you might as well enjoy your last meal. Grim. Promised necklace? Uh, before that, wow, wow, there's there's stuff all over the place. Another one of these. Still can't pick it up. Oh no! I'm so scared to like lose. I need to, I need to take the planet around, Blizzard. It doesn't even have a staker bar. Or like it wasn't working there. The Trying to keep a constant, constant magic spam going out, but it's just not working. All right, hit it. Oh my god, planet or will you stop healing it? It just never stops. I need like the protect to speed this up, I think. There. It's dead at least. I think you can do three casts. Oh my god. I'm getting interrupted. Three casts before you do like that backflip, so if you switch schemata, you can keep it going. Oh, enemies really like to heal in this. The spell? Oh god, don't tell me I have to spam the spell for it to work. Wonder if it's got any stagger on it, or deal it does deal damage, okay. Oh my god. This this is ridiculous. I don't think we're supposed to be here yet because these guys are taking way longer to beat than I thought. I need more time. Alright, heal me. Yeah, thank you. That's a pretty cool mechanic for for being confused. Oh, I got a new ability though. Metagard. Oh, Metagard. I can heal myself and curse. That's good news. I totally said I was going to skip that. I hope I did. Wanted the savior distinguishing features. Uh, attempted assassination of the patron. Treason. Hmm. Alright, we've done a full circle. We know... Ooh, Blitz. We know half of Yustan now. Welcome to the glittering city. Sure. I'm actually going to check up here. I feel like Gordon Gourmet is actually up here, or I have to come at a different time. That's that's possible, too. This is the famous bank. Welcome. Oh, no, 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 no. Do uh, come again? 
to you? Tell me, are you the famous food expert? Possibly. I do boast a certain renown in culinary circles. It cannot be denied. Okay. I see. CD's restaurant, you say? I do hate to see a good restaurant go undiscovered by the dining public. So, will you help him out? I can take you right there. Oh, no. CD's restaurant? I'm afraid you will have to find someone else. I'm sorry. I can't persuade you? Impossible. This city is overflowing with restaurants crying out for the deft helping hand of Gordon Gourmet. I'm run ragged trying to keep up. And, well, you see... Right, my rule. I have an ironclad policy. I cannot help an establishment unless the owner approaches me directly. You just Ew. made that up, didn't you? <sighs> All right, can you do this for me? Just give me some advice now, and I'll pass it along to the owner. You don't have to come to the restaurant at all. That hmm. sounds reasonable. I mean, I'd hate to see a restaurant serving fried niblet hairballs go under. Except, if I give advice, I need to make sure that it is communicated accurately, with total precision. And that means my messenger has to understand the instructions perfectly. Well, I guess that rules me out. I don't know the first thing about fine dining. Oh, you don't have to be a top chef, or even a garde manger. All you need is a discerning palate. Practically anyone can acquire one with a little training. I'm not sure what you mean by a discerning palate, but I don't think I have one. Trust me when I say it can be found. In fact, a tour of the best establishments of the Glutton's Quarters should do. The six most popular restaurants in the world are found in the Glutton's Quarter. E eat at all six and report your findings. Okay. okay. Including this one? Here, let's see the map. One, two... I don't think this place counts. Or no, 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 not counting CDs then. Yeah, no, we have to eat everywhere. Fine. Fine, you got it. Welcome. Let's eat here. Does it matter what we have? Oh god, they're expensive. It's no special. When offering a complete dining experience to discerning patrons, superb food and excellent drinks are not enough. One must always anticipate the needs of your patrons. I am constantly assessing the dining space from the viewpoint of my customers, the comfort, the decor. Our sure. customers want more than just the meal. They come for the memories they can savor for years to come. You mastered the ways of the... I'm not going to say that. Restaurant 106. Hold on, help. But you still have more There's more restaurants in the Glutton's Quarter. Welcome. Population or po popular sweets while we're eating the cheapest one. Our customers come here to put down their shopping bags and rest their weary feet. Our cakes and sweets are the perfect pick me up for just about everyone. We put a lot of love into our cakes, and that's what makes them so good. They're like treats for your palate and soul. Hmm. Okay. But to see a two of six. Light, I'm glad you're enjoying all the food, but I hope all these rich meals don't slow you down. No response? Every oh. one of our fish is fresh caught and... Okay, fish, starfish chips, sure. We get our seafood fresh every morning. Comes straight out of the ocean. Tastes great raw or grilled. A chef is even more important when preparing uncooked dishes. The way you slice a tuna makes all the difference in the world. Really? You're gonna be a real food connoisseur by the time this is over. You just have three more... Three, right three more. Get the best meat and kebabs in Houston. What do you got Vivi's hat on for? Behemoth burger. Our meat is shipped directly from the wildlands. We use only natural ingredients, none of that synthetic stuff. Grilling and roasting are the best. The key is knowing how to seal in the juices and flavors. And we do that better than anyone else. Does that poster say mystery meat? Ugh. Welcome. Green cherry. From the elegant simplicity of straight spirits on the rocks to complex and fruity concoctions with little umbrellas, we serve all kinds of drinks. Cocktails can be served, chilled or warm, shaken or stirred. Everyone mm. has their own preferences. We encourage customers to consult with our staff to create the perfect cocktail to accompany their evening. Okay, sommelier. Almost there, light. And how might I be of help today? I just want to look at the store. Uh, oh, you, you still only have potions and stuff. Okay. 
I'm sorry, Hope. I know I'm interrupting you, but you're the one who put me on a timer. <laughs> it's, it's not like I can help this. Pea soup. Even kids who hate greens love my veggie dishes. Vitamins and vegetables are determined by their color. You want a wide variety for a well-balanced diet. Mm. Well, <laughs> you visited all the best restaurants. What do you say, Light? Do you feel like you've learned all there is to know? Listening to scraps of advice from chefs won't make me an expert. Besides, most of what they told me was common sense, and they didn't tell me anything I hadn't heard before. Maybe you should go back and talk to a real expert. Go to the banquet of the Lord and see what Gordon Gourmet has to say. Yeah, it just kind of felt like they were advertising their place. Well, how goes the culinary tour? I did what you suggested. I visited the top restaurants in the neighborhood. That is excellent news. So now let me give you the advice I promised. If CD's restaurant wants to turn its business around... Uh, wait, let me ask you something first. You've eaten at CD's and at the best establishments in Yusnan. Why don't you tell me what you think is the main difference between the two? I'd be interested to hear your opinion. In your own words, of course. Why? Oh. Is this some kind of test? Yes, exactly. Now tell me, what did all the successful restaurants have in common that poor old CD's lacks? Let me see. Everyone I spoke to was helpful. They seemed honest and open. I don't think they were lying to me, but something... something seemed off. Oh, would you care to elaborate? Well, it almost felt like they were hiding something from the customers. But it wasn't as if they were deliberately lying or trying to deceive anyone. In fact, hmm. I don't think they realized it themselves. They thought they were telling me everything they knew. Yes, that's it. It was unconscious, like an instinct. They were hiding something, but they weren't doing it deliberately at all. I'd say the very best chefs, restaurant managers, and bartenders all share some kind of secret. It's like a special ingredient that makes their food stand out from the others. What a wonderful deduction. You have hit the nail on the head. To think you discovered this answer only after visiting a few establishments. It is as you say. The best, most successful restaurants have a certain je ne sais quoi, a secret something that makes their offerings unique. And finding that something, that is what I do best. In other words, if the restaurant does not already have a special something, then I simply cannot help it. Then what about CD's? Do you think you can help him? I can tell you this. The chef there already knows his secret. The talent is there to make that restaurant a success. Unfortunately for him, the secret spice that gives his dishes flair is extremely rare. He cannot secure supplies, and that is why he struggles. Makes Let sense. me be specific. Once upon a time, CD's recipes all featured the spice commonly known as civet musk. But then supplies dried up and the restaurant fell into a long decline. You seem to know a lot about CD's. Well, a long time ago, let's just say we have a close history and leave it at that. Fine by me. All I need to know is that if I can find this spice, the restaurant should start bringing in customers. Yes, exactly. The problem is the spice is not easy to find. In fact, the only way to acquire it would be to defeat certain monsters. <laughs> Such a shame. All for want of a single spice, his restaurant is failing. He has the recipe for success. He just needs the final ingredient. Civet musk from, oh my god, from Schrodinger. <sighs> I'm gonna save and I'm gonna try to fight that one. I have to. Um. Oh boy. Okay. That way we can finish up this quest. I know it seems like there's not much, uh, not quite much happening, uh, you know, as the episode goes. But it's it's just how it goes. It's hard to get to main story, and we have all these side quests that kind of have a lot of text and. You know, or dialogue. And and that's just how it's going to be for, you know, the first the, the mixed in episodes. Who knows when we'll, you know, finish all the main story and side quests. It's going to it's gonna be quite a long one, I think. Okay, I want to switch out. Oh, I really can't. Let me, let me just make a new one here. We got Nocturne. Attack level 2. We're taking out quite a bit of health, but... I'm out. Still not enough. Okay, okay. 
Oh, come on. So close. Don't let it cure. Chaos takes away the grief. Wow. Okay. That was a thousand times easier. Civet Musk. We got it. And we got Firestorm. Ooh. And a lot of EP. Okay. So, what I did is add Nocturne instead of Quiet Garden. S screw heavy defense. It, it, it doesn't matter. What I needed was very fast uh, attacks. So I set magic on the top one of each and I just cycled through and made sure I didn't waste time like doing a finisher. And you, you can take it out very early on. Like I feel like that Schrodinger is quite hard hitting early on. I know I could have probably guarded and survived, but that was a lot of damage it did before when we, we fought it. Fire and wind magic at the same time. Ooh, and it actually increases my magic by 80? So I want to put that on this class instead of dispel. Oh yeah, that's got 500 magic now. That's significantly better than the other ones. And now I'll, I'll, put, I'll put dispel on Nocturne then. Okay. I don't know, we're still so early on it's hard to set up, but... Yeah, I definitely like to finish this quest and still head over to Yusnan while we can. Gordon. Oh, it's it's almost four. I'd recognize that fragrance anywhere. You found Civet Musk. Thank you indeed. It's very kind what you're doing. Cedis is lucky to have you on its side. Why are you thanking me? If anyone should be grateful, it's me, and the owner of CDs, for all of your helpful advice. Oh, uh, quite so. When you put it that way, of course you're right. <laughs> I just get caught up in a project and start thinking it's my own restaurant I'm saving. But back to business. Here, I developed this new and original recipe. I want you to take it back to CDs together with the civet musk you acquired. The owner will be waiting anxiously for you. So, you still don't want to meet him yourself? Um, uh, I'm afraid that won't happen. Not ever again. However, that doesn't stop me from wishing him and CDs the very best. Please tell him that whatever happens, I'll be praying for his success. Okay. I think it's pretty clear what's what's going on here. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Do you remember what the owner of CDs told us when we met? You mean the story about his son that ran away from home when the restaurant started struggling? Great minds, Hope. We've both been thinking that maybe this son of his went on to become a famous food expert. And that's why Gordon won't meet CD's owner. But he still clearly wants to help out. Let's take the civet musk and recipe to CD's. I really wish you you could like stop time or like go into a menu and they'd still talk so that I wouldn't advance time right here. Gordon Gourmet created a new recipe for you. You should make it with this civet musk. Do that and you'll be able to save your restaurant. At least, that's what he said. Why, why, thank you! This is wonderful! How can I ever repay you? This Did is incredible! Everything is here in black and white! A groundbreaking dish! I'd never have thought to do half the things in this recipe. The genius of Gordon Gourmet oozes from every word. Notice anything else? About the recipe? No, not particularly. It's well organized, written in a clear hand. Wait! This handwriting, it looks strangely familiar. Yes, I've seen it before. These swirls, these bold loops. Could it be? I think so. It turns out Gordon Gourmet has a secret identity. He's your long lost son. He is? And you're sure it was him who created this wonderful recipe? But more importantly, he's in this town. Is he happy? You have nothing to worry about. He's doing great. Except, I'm really sorry, but I don't think he wants to see you again. I can't tell you where he is. But why? Yes, we quarreled when he left, but that was a long time ago. Is he still angry at me? Do you have a message for him? I can make sure he gets it. Well, how about this? I'm gonna make his dish, just like the recipe lays out. Would you be so good as to deliver it to him? At the very least, I want him to try it. Truth be told, what I really want to tell him is to come back to CDs and work with me. Perhaps if he knew that I still haven't lost my touch, would that be enough to entice him back? I don't know. 
I don't think words alone will do it, but if he tries your dish and likes it, that might be enough for him. It's funny because you can see there it is, finished at last. from here. Here, please. I want you to be the first to taste it. All right. I'm feeling hungry anyway. <laughs> How? You know how much you've eaten? Wow. This he might be that. the most delicious thing I've ever had in my entire life. Really, it's incredible. Why, thank you. Although all the credit must go to my son, it was his doing. Here, I've made enough for one more. I've asked you for many favors, but would you do this last thing for me? Sure. I'll take it to Gordon Gourmet. Steak a la civet. All right. We better get some great stats for this. <laughs> it's so weird that, like, your actual level up in the game is tied to this. Oh, it's four. Yeah, yeah. Oh, do I smell what I think I smell? I do, don't I? That must be my recipe. Yes, the owner at CD's insisted that I bring you a portion so you could taste it for yourself. I see. Well, then. Oh, yes. A perfect balance of fuzzy mutton and civet musk. The palate sings. It's a microcosm of culinary delight. A theme hmm. park of old factory and gustatory attractions. And if you think that's hyperbole, I've only just begun. This is even better than I imagined. I always knew he was a skilled chef, but this... So, why don't you go back there and help him out again in the kitchen? Go back? Well, what do you mean? I've never... Oh, all right. Huh? The cat's out of the bag. You've somehow figured it out. <laughs> what my true identity is. Yes, I admit it. I am indeed the son of the owner of CD's restaurant. It was a long time ago, but one day we quarreled, and I left the shop vowing never to return. We fought over cooking, you see. But even after I left, I vowed that one day I would rebuild the restaurant. That's what started me on my journey to becoming Gordon Gourmet. Since then, I devoted every waking hour to learning about the culinary arts. After many years of study, I finally had an epiphany. I realized what CD's restaurant needed to regain its former glory. You had a falling out because of the menu? But when your father saw your recipe, he was thrilled. All he could talk about was how he dreamed of you coming back. So the two of you could run the restaurant together, just like old times. So he recognizes my ability. Oh, but it's too late. I can't go back now. The fact is, I abandoned him in the restaurant when times were tough. I'm ashamed of what I did. I can't face him again. Okay. You mustn't feel that way, my son. F father how did you find me? My apologies to the young lady, but I wanted to see you. I followed her after she left the shop. What do you say? Let's start over. You set out on your own, did things your own way, stayed true to yourself, working hard to achieve your dreams. And now look what you can do. The recipe that you created was amazing. I've never seen the likes of it before. What can I say except that I am proud of you? But father, I... I left you. Not in my wildest dreams could I have conceived of such a dish. Indeed, if you had given it to me back then, I doubt I would have recognized its greatness. But worse, I wouldn't have believed you could be capable of such a thing. I always underestimated you, my son. For that, you have my sincere apologies. Mm. It's all right. And for what is worth, I'm sorry for abandoning you and the restaurant when you were struggling to keep it going. Looks like you two have made up. Yes. Now let's get to it, shall we? Together. We'll, we'll make, make CD's, CDs a success, success again. again! It's basically an absence makes the heart grow fonder kind of situation there. 120 HP, 8 strength, and 4 magic. Thank you. Uh, that went well. A microcosm of culinary delight, did he say? That sounds rather tasty to me. Was it as good as he said? Want me to pick you up some takeout? You know what I'd prefer over that? If sometime you made me one of your specialty dishes. I haven't hmm. spent much time in kitchens, but if you want something off a campfire grill, maybe I could rustle something up. 
Uh, it sounds like I you're almost. I was never almost... as good a cook as Sarah, but I have been told that I grill a pretty mean behemoth steak. <laughs> They're almost uh, somewhat gaining emotion. Or, or feeling it occasionally. <laughs> you are so loud. I still. I think I need a quest for that. Probably. Ah, uh, we know where they are, though. They're pretty damn loud. Good. All right, time to start skipping battles when I do them. That's better. Point four. God, you can actually get about half of a level here. Er, EP back. Hello and welcome. Oh, uh. It's a really popular hangout for couples. I'm afraid you're going to be the only single one here. And you're Ooh. worried about my feelings? Oh, God damn it. Yes, you have come at the appointed time. Your destiny awaits, Savior. And just what makes you so sure that I'm the Savior? His eye sees the truth. It cannot be denied. We are alchemists who seek the ultimate truth of all things. He has used the alchemic arts on himself. Now, now he possesses the eye that sees all. So, what do you want with me? Listen to his oracle. Your true path as the savior is known. Now it is time you know it yourself. Okay. Uh, Lightning encounters a mysterious diviner who tells her of, uh, that his colleague is used, has used alchemic arts to acquire an eye. We can see into the future. There is no future. The If the two diviners are telling the truth, it might be worth Lightning's while to do their bidding. Uh, we'll find out. Kind of vague. An oracle? If you've got something to tell me, I'll listen. But I choose my own path. Listen, Savior. I say to you that which I have seen. Tomorrow, when the sun hangs highest in the sky, you mm -hmm. shall meet us in this place. The encounter is ordained. Hope, what do you make of these so-called fortune tellers? No! They don't speak very clearly what? or quickly. But I think what they basically said was they want you to come back and see them again at noon tomorrow. It's this not kid much just... of an oracle. They're just telling me what to do. Well, I'll decide tomorrow. All Did... right, give it back. Stole huh? my money. Give what back? What are you talking about, lady? I can get rough, if that's how you want to play it. Ugh. Do you always go around bullying kids? Go on, take your stupid stuff. I don't want it. Bullying kids? You just stole 200 gil. Go to hell. Pick it. <laughs> what a name. Because pickpocket, uh, I, I assume. Either way, I don't know what that was about. But I feel like that was an important thing. I don't know. Right now, I feel like this entire episode we're going to be picking up side quests that we can't even do yet. Mostly... Oh. Oh, Choco Chow, right. 5 to 3 a.m. Choco Girl's phone number. Interesting. <laughs> if you want money for your we're, we're probably going to be picking up quests Welcome. constantly, though. There's just so much to do here. At these information brokers, you can purchase monster notes. Good. They tell you your enemy's weakness, how to best stagger them, and other useful battle information. Thank you. Let's, uh... Libra enemy information. Can I, can I actually still just Libra them myself? Learn how to buy and use them. They sell them so you can buy them. Okay. Wow, what a tutorial. <laughs> when purchased, you'll be able to gain a detailed report, etc. That is not a tutorial. Schrodinger, though. Hoplite, we haven't run into. Cyclops, I'm Zoltus, we already fought. Unless there's more than them. More of them. Do visit us again. Thank you. Uh... Okay, I believe that alley, yeah, that alley leads out to there, and I don't think I can do anything with that yet, but maybe. First, I'm going to go down here, though. This is a broadcast from the Public Safety Office, 
Ensign branch of the Order of Salvation. Our hotel a is warrant just the has place been issued for the arrest of the woman called. The gate to the Augur's quarter is locked, but for people in the know, there's always the back dangerous. route. Everyone's talking about you that. To learn about the back route into the Augur's quarter. Is that enough, or do you want more info? The hell is that? Oh. Oh my god, I have enough for two chronostasis if I really needed it, but I feel like we just don't have the time for it. Or anything. Anywhere to go. Oh, I know. You're never getting into the Augur's Quarter. If you really want to see one of the shows they hold there, you don't have much choice but the tour guide. Hmm. The tour guide sneaks groups of tourists in through the back route to see the show in the Augur's Quarter. Trust me, he's not that hard to find. In fact, he's about the easiest person to spot. You have to present. Okay. How good of you to come and visit our glittering city. This right here is the Augur's Quarter. No Thank you. you are, no matter what you're doing, you'll be transported up here to the Ark at 6 a.m. sharp. Yep. Don't forget that, okay? God, I really wish I didn't have to interrupt them so often, but... <laughs> Okay, Thorn of Aggression? Let's find this very obvious guy. I think it's that, the, the guy in the middle. So... Yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought it was him, but... Hail there, my stylish lady. You're just dying to see this show, aren't you? You can try to hide it, but I know what a woman wants. Maybe, maybe not. Either way, I don't have an ID to reach the theater. No worries about that. I can get you a special ticket at a special price. A ticket, huh? Oh, you playing innocent. I'm sure you know about the sneaking in special. I help the poor visitors to our fair city, people who don't have the requisite IDs, to see our most famous site, the show in our illustrious theater. And I'm the only option they've got. So I buy a ticket and you get me in to see the show, and I've nothing to go on but your word. My mm -hmm. word is good, but I can't offer any guarantees. I mean, who knows if you'll make it back alive? That depends on Lady Luck. She'll put your trust in Fortuna and your money in my pocket. Fine. But how about a few more details? I knew you were up for it. All right. Let me explain to you the brilliance of my little tour, shall I? It starts next to the monorail track. You know, the one that carries supplies from the industrial area. Up on that track, you'll find some of the best views in the city. If you know where to look, that is. I can take you up on the track from the industrial area and get you set up all nice and comfy. A perch with a view. You'll be able to see the Augur's Quarter and the theater. Sounds easy enough. So where does Lady Luck come into it? Well, the tour's not without danger. That's the not chaos luck. infusions have been hitting the industrial area real hard these days. You might have to fight more than just desperate tourists on your way to the best seats. I don't guarantee your safe arrival or return. All I guarantee is I'm the only way in. Not that it looks like you have plans of actually sitting down and watching a thing, my lady. What are you trying to say? Nothing. None of my business to say where you might be going or who you might be going after. I'm sure the mm. savior plays her cards close to her chest. Gee, was it the posters around town that tipped you off? I could sell you out to the palace guard, you know, make a pretty profit. I guess you'll also have to depend on your luck to see that I don't just do that, hmm? Now, don't you feel like coughing up and buying a ticket to my tour? Oh I'll boy. even give you a special price just for you. How much? Two thousand, sure. If you want to betray me to the authorities, go ahead. But watch your back if you do. Ooh, look out for the big bad savior. A ticket for one. Time's on the ticket. Be in the industrial area by then or you'll miss your chance for the show. One of my helpers will be in front of the gate to the industrial area. Give them that ticket and they'll take real good care of you. Okay. You know the area, okay. right? Past Central Avenue and then across the sand in the lower city. We leave on the dot, so don't you dawdle or you'll have to wait for the next tour. Thank yeah. you for your business, my good lady. Uh, be at the industrial gate area gate by 6 p.m. tomorrow. That is good news because that means we can go sneak into the quarters, 
And after we do that, we're able to get back and uh, get to the phone by midnight for the other main quest. So we're going to we're gonna be doing both main quests together. Uh, possibly in the next episode, most likely. I love how he's playing Battle on Brig Bridge. Alright, it is almost 6. And I could chronostasis, but I don't know what benefit there would be. Oath of the Merchant's Guild. Desert Flame. I, I, could, I could chronostasis, and we, we, we'd we literally get nowhere. Can, can I go this way? Oh, oh okay. okay. So I need an ID card for that. And we've, we've fully searched other than being able to go up to the top, which is where we have to go for stories. So I will wait on that. Yeah, Yusnan and half of Luxarian have been fully searched, and we did a few side quests, so I feel like we're we're off to a good start here. It's nearly six. I'm sure you know what that means. Yeah. You don't need to tie up any loose ends, though. Time stands still in this world while you're up in the Ark. It's a pretty handy system, isn't it? It sure is. I don't know, It's it feels like we're uh, kind of struggling. At the moment, but it's I'm I'm trying to pack in a few extra things that I don't need to in the beginning of the game. Yeah. Oh, question mark. Hello. Is it your first time in Yusnan? Ask me anything. I know this city like the back of my own hand. We stand now. No other place bustles okay. quite Reveler. like it. Okay, that's fine. He's he's just gonna describe it can't talk to that guy. I think if they're just black background, you can't actually interact. Light, I just want to remind you that it's almost six, and you know what happens then. When it's time, you'll be transported automatically up to the Ark. Oh. Oh, I want that. I want that. I <laughs> know this is weird. But... But I'm gonna do that. Citizens are asked to report to the nearest security. And really quickly, I'm gonna go run around and try to Ooh, Wolf Emblem. Find some more stuff. Alright. Uh and I did actually double check. The the clock on the top. Three real seconds pass for every one uh minute in game, I think. I think that's how it translates. So it takes quite a while to get through a day, honestly. Like, if you really think about it, you have you have quite a bit of time. It's weird that you, like, you get stressed about heading back here when time literally stops and you start the Welcome next day back, at Light. 6 a.m. Now step forward and offer your Aradia so we can give time back to the world. Mm. Pray. As the world dies around me, I offer this blessing. Ooh, it's blooming. Is this fruit from a light? Day two. Six days till the end? Oh, because... Giving that much gave me an extra day, basically. With the power of Aradia, you have successfully extended the world's life. Come here and I'll explain. Okay. That's how we can extend it to 13 days, just by doing side quests like that. Ooh, Red, red Mage. Um, excuse me? Let's see. Light Slash and Buster Rune. Ooh. Increases wears physical damage as well as magical in a balanced way. It yeah, they're they're decently balanced. Soul of the Red Mage increased physical damage and magic by eight percent each. That's not bad. I don't know if I'd switch out. I don't know what I'd switch out. Honestly, the Savior might be the best one to switch out if I was going to do anything. But that default AP ATB being lower kind of sucks. Hmm. It'd probably switch out with Mist Wizard, but then I'd lose... No, you just have basic thunder here, don't you? Oh. 
Yeah, one sec. All right. Uh, just switched a, a few things around to get Blizzard Firestorm on here. And using this shield, actually, the one I had on lowered my ATB recharge rate, which sucked, uh, apparently. So this this one set it back to zero. So I didn't, uh, I hadn't even been thinking about that till now. Even Even this weapon. Oh, wow. This is a good weapon. Uh, I got that for Red Mage, but I don't know. I feel like that one might be better off on Savior. Or this has attack level two, so this is like the hard hitting one. Yeah, I'll put it on there. And give Red Mage. No, that lowers magic. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Sorry, I spent so much time in this stuff. This is Yggdrasil, the Tree of Life. It's a holy tree, and its life force is entwined with that of the world. Aradia gives Yggdrasil the power to grow. As the tree grows stronger, so too does the world. With enough Aradia, you can extend its life and push back the Day of Destruction. Hmm. Up to 13 days, after which God awakens. So the more Aradia I can collect, the bigger that tree will grow. And the bigger the tree, the longer the world has before Doomsday. Basically, check the condition. Stand silently. Offer more. Ooh. There are certain areas within Nova Chrysalia that I want you to focus on. Five locations where I'm picking up anomalous chaos readings. And I'm guessing one of those locations is right where snow is. Yes, exactly. The palace in the city of Yusnan. There is another spot in the heart of Luxarian, the holy city. One more in the scorching sands of the dead dunes. And finally, I've measured large chaos fluctuations at two locations in the wildlands. Mm -hmm. Four regions, five locations. To be more precise, the goals are people, not places. For example, the chaos activity in and around Snow's palace is linked to him, and the darkness in his heart. It's the same kind of chaos that I'm picking up in the other four locations. And you want me to find these five people? They're your priority, yes. Those people have massive burdens on them. The fate of many rests on their shoulders, and that makes your task all the harder. Helping them will not be easy, even for God's handpicked savior. But I can help you. Thank you. Five main story quests to do. There's a hard truth we must face. There are thousands of people down in the world waiting to be saved, but you cannot help all of them. It's not possible. I've only got a handful of days. There just isn't enough time, right? This will sound cold, but you need to be efficient. Saving people who are suffering under the heaviest burdens will give you more Aradia, which is mm. good for us. But the greater the burden, the more you might have to do before that soul can be saved. Sometimes, solving someone's problem might just take too long. You're saying I shouldn't waste time on helping hard cases. I've got to pick and choose who gets saved. Of course it would be best if you could save everyone, but you can't. It's a numbers game, Light. The more <sighs> souls you save, the more Aradia you can gather and offer to the tree. The time spent helping one person might be better spent saving the souls of ten others. Efficiency by volume, is that it? A numbers game, like you say, control costs and maximize profits. What is it that they say? Time is money. Yeah, apparently. Okay. In this world, all the clocks count to 12, but that wasn't always the case. Back in the old days, all clocks went to 13. Somehow, oh. when the chaos first flooded into the world, we lost that 13th hour. It was one of the great mysteries. No one could figure it out. But happen, it did. And the results were dramatic. Space-time has been damaged. Where once each day lasted 26 hours, now only lasts 24. Two hours of every day, gone, just like that. The lost time. Interesting. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, well, not not a good thing, kind of cool, but it's just just imagining them having the thirteenth hour there. Uh, oh, okay, okay. So what we're gonna have to do is go to Luxarian, find those, find some of those codes. There's one code, actually. I I think I can actually show that. I did save it. There it is. There is a map of where the codes are. Now I know, you know, might be probably better to just go find them on my own, but 
we're on a timer and we're doing a video here. We don't want to waste all our time going <laughs> going around getting lost. One of them is in the Warren. Which means I can't get that code till midnight. So my plan is to get these three codes while looking uh, for quests and stuff to do in Luxarian. And by 6 p.m. we have to go to Yusnan to do, you know, get, get the back route and all that. And abuse the shit out of Chronostasis. And then by midnight, no matter what I was doing in the Yusnan main story quest get back, get this last code, and then go do this, and we'll actually be able to finish all of Luxarian, like the whole main story quest, I believe. Because that that's just how, how it'll work. So, uh, that's that's what we'll probably be able to do in the next one. This is a high quality. Uh, 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 ignore me. Okay. So. I think we're gonna start here. We're just gonna go grab those codes. And, and and pick up side quests, but it's it's gonna go right into the next episode with that. Uh, I didn't realize that six hours of in-game time took me that long. Like it took a full episode to go through that because we did side quests and stuff. Where am I? What is this? It was the throne. Hey, Savior! What's <sighs> going on? <laughs> you again? Right. Can you hear me? <sighs> are you alright? Where are you? What's the problem? Equipment trouble? I'm out. I'm getting crazy readings. The coordinates make no sense. I can't pinpoint the <gasps> position. Is that what Light sees? Or Hope, Hope sees? Are you there? No, no, no. Hope can't hear you or see you. You're invisible. Do you know why? Because we're inside you. Spooky, huh? You mean inside my mind? Yeah. It's a safe place that God can't see. You could almost say it's like, oh, I don't know, an unseen realm. Mm. All right, if you say so. But that begs the question, what the hell are you doing in here? I have a name. It's Lumina, and I know a lot about you. <sighs> you need my advice, and in here we can talk about anything we want, safe from prying eyes. Prying eyes? You mean Hope? Yep. He might not realize it, but everything he learns gets passed straight on to God. What of it? I don't have any secrets to hide. Oh, right. You're the loyal servant, aren't you? You wouldn't dream of betraying him. And don't worry, okay? Even if I know otherwise, well, my lips are sealed. I have no reason to betray him. Right, right. That's very convincing. Keep those feelings hidden and play the loyal little servant. You want to be as cold as a steel in your sword. You do that, and then no one can guess what's inside. It's true, God can't see into human hearts. But he can read your face and tone, just like anyone else, and make his own guesses. Like I said, I don't have anything to hide. He's promised to bring Sarah back. I'm not gonna do anything that might cause him to change his mind. Why should I? Are you still in there, Lightning? Why are you afraid? Huh? Come on, think about it. We're inside your mind. Don't you get it? If you can't be true to yourself here, where can you? I know you haven't changed, because you can't. What the hell are you? We're, We're just, just particles, particles of dust, dust fresh, fresh from, from the palm of a god. god. That's all we ever oh. were. No, wait! That was... That was Sarah. Was it? Or was it an illusion? Or, or whatever? She's, she seems like a literal trickster. I mean... I honestly don't know. 
Like, I didn't even remember she was in the game until now. Which is weird, because... I've got a connection again. Like, what just happened? She's like the most interesting character. I was character. talking to Lumina. Lumina? That girl? What does she want? And where is she now? You didn't hear any of that? No. My sensors didn't pick up a thing. Are you sure she was there? Maybe it was just a dream. A dream? Maybe that's what it was. Uh, right. Uh, teleport complete. <laughs> so, she's only invisible in certain instances. Like, Hope can't see her in the chaos zones, or in her head, but can he see her in general? Like, I don't know. I don't know if she's invisible to... No, 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 it's Snow, Snow Sire. In order to infiltrate the children of Etra's rights. Before you do that, save. And save again. Oh, no, no. Over here. And hopefully I don't screw this up. To figure out their code. The four numbers. Right, and if we don't figure it out by tonight, another girl will be this sacrificed. I don't want that on my conscience. Of the order of you have to hurry. Please and stay alert for the shadow on God for We literally can't do anything. Uh, look at the codes, but there is no hurrying here. All right. Uh, obviously, I load my game after, so I don't care about the time going on here. Uh, but in... I, I, it's, it's so weird to end it here, but I have to. I feel like I feel like all we did was <laughs> like watch a few well, well help the gourmet uh, Gordon Gordon gourmet there but what can he do we can't get in here until midnight so hopefully in the next one we actually make it to midnight we'll we'll see uh, but but I have to go through here I'm probably gonna use chronostasis a decent bit so that we can get side quests done uh, and then head back to either Yusnan or another place and teleport to Yusnan for that one quest uh, where we have to get in by 6 p.m. So, uh, there, there's definitely going to be a few quests here, though. I think there's 20 quests in Luxarian total, and we've done two of them already. Or three. No, yeah, we helped the little girl, too. So... Like, at least I, I have that in my head. I, I wrote all that down, how many total quests there are, so we can try to, you know, come back and see what we're missing later. But, yeah, we're going to be able to search all of this and pick up the side quest and head to, depending on what time it is, head to Yusnan or head to the Wildlands for a bit, I think. So, thanks for watching. Let me know if you like it, and I will see you in the next one.